Okay, this is take 10 because all of my intros are taking way too long. This is Josh with HapoWorks. I'm going to be installing the Cusco front strut bar on the 2022 Subaru WRX. I'm doing this one because it's real quick and I'm in between filming a couple of really large videos. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it easy and I hope this encourages you to go buy one because I think they're really cool and they're really, really easy to install. Shouldn't take you more than 10 to 20 minutes. This is the bar we're gonna be installing today. They come packaged really, like, in just really cool packaging. It's, it's, a, it's a simple box, but even the little bag that you slide off is labeled. It has pretty much Japanese instructions where the only thing you can decipher is pretty much the numbers and the torque specs for these, but I'll go ahead and uh, put those in the video as well so you know what to uh, torque these to. Um, but yeah, so here we go. We'll install it super, super easy. Um, pop your hood and then I'll show you the next steps. The first step is going to be under these 14 mils. Take those off, and I like to put them right here on the cowl so I don't lose them. And as they come off, I just block them from falling down this way. I know it sounds dumb, but I'm trying to save you a headache. Next up is to take your strut bar. So you're just gonna set it. And then as soon as it's sitting where you want it to be, you're just gonna take those nuts, place them right over again. I know this isn't the most sound advice, but my torque wrench does not fit in there. So I need you to set your torque wrenches to 27 foot pounds. Um, it's 32 Newton meters or 27 foot pounds. I am going to just uh, set my arm to 27 foot pounds because this one I could reach with it, um, but all of the other nuts I would not be able to. Almost there. See, there you have it, it's torqued. Same thing over here. Okay, next you're gonna grab a 17 millimeter socket and an eight millimeter Allen wrench. You're gonna set your, your torque wrench to 57 Newton millimeters or 42 foot pounds. And then you're gonna tighten these up. So that's literally all it takes to install this strut bar. And I think it looks pretty cool. And whenever you open your hood, People are gonna ask you, is your engine stock? Is there uh, tons of horsepower in here? Because they see this beautiful strut bar and clearly that means you have absolutely modified your engine. Just kidding, but I do get a lot of those questions when I do take this car to a meet. I'm assuming it's because of the strut bar. I also wanted to just show you the clearances here. So you have a ton of space to any of your extra parts. Right down here, the fitment is great too. You can, I mean, you can see there's a ton of space here as well. And I know, and I've seen some posts of some forum members that have put these bars on with a bigger top down intercooler as well, which I believe is not the case with some of the other bars. All 
All right, overall, I would rate that maybe a one out of 10, maybe even a zero out of 10 on the difficulty scale. Super easy to do. You need a 14 millimeter wrench, a 17 millimeter wrench, and an eight millimeter Allen, and you have everything you need to install this bar. Overall, super, super easy install. I am going to just let you know, personally, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't feel a huge difference. I think um, it's very subtle. I think it's a nice peace of mind knowing that that strut bar is in there, and in the event of I guess being on a racetrack and having some impacts or you know cornering just having that extra rigidity is really awesome but I don't want to sell this to you guys as this this magic this will solve your track time issues and you're automatically going to be beating every car out there um, it's another step in a bigger puzzle of stiffening up your chassis right so Cusco sells a full suite of parts and there is a little bit of me that um, wants to play the collector on these parts right so hopefully as I keep going and I have some more money to buy some more parts I'll be buying the rest of the Cusco parts and installing those so I'm thinking about removing the um, the Cobb pitch stop mount that I have and replacing it with the Cusco one just to see how different that is and then I may be doing a giveaway on my Instagram um, if you go follow that at Hapaworks and then maybe you'll get a free Cobb pitch stop mount on that. Cool. All right. Well, that's it for this install. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I hope it gives you the encouragement to go buy one and put one on. It's literally the easiest thing you could do on your car. And I think uh, for the money, it's a great value and it looks awesome in your engine bay as well. Cool. All right. That's it for this one.